Last Saturday I arrived in Rome and made my way to my aunt and uncle's hotel so that I could board a bus with some amazing people and set off for Amalfi, Italy. Between my entire maternal extended family and some friends and family of my aunt and uncle, there were a little over 40 of us on day one. I had been on trains all night so I was a little bit dead but the Prosecco was flowing and the trip got off to a pretty fantastic start. Even with that phenomenal start, when we arrived at the villa where we were going to be spending the week, we were all a little little bit awestruck. I'm not really sure what we all expected as far as places that could house the whole lot of us, but this greatly exceeded whatever those expectations were. This place is absolutely spectacular. Every morning at breakfast we all sat around marveling at how gorgeous this is and how that just never ever got old. As my cousin so aptly put it, every day is leg day. Our trip was pretty jam-packed with adventures too. On our first full day together we got back on that bus and headed off to Pompeii. <laughs> We sang that song a lot on this trip, like a lot, a lot. However much I'd heard about how well preserved the city was also failed to capture seeing it in person. This tragic event left us with an incredible little sample of what life was like forever ago. Beauty and important historical lessons aside, the tour highlights were the moments when all of the adults giggled like children at the rather extensive tour through Pompeii's prostitution hub complete with ancient porn to help give instructions across language barriers. Also a lot of phallic symbols to make sure you could always find your way priorities and stuff, right? After taking in Pompeii, we headed up to Mount Vesuvius. We basically had just enough time to hike to the top and snap a few pictures or take videos if you were me and then turn back around. But again, it was absolutely beautiful and well worth that effort. We also spent a day riding around on boats and occasionally jumping in the Mediterranean Sea to swim as one does on a casual Monday afternoon. We went to Naples and explored the museum there, concentrating on things that complemented our trip to Pompeii. We also explored a little bit of the city and being with my family and hearing everybody say Nepoli kept throwing me off because it sounded like they were saying Nicoli. The museum we visited also had a 14 plus section because we hadn't had quite enough opportunities to be children and make dick jokes. The family that tours ancient phallic symbols together stays together. I also walked around Amalfi on my own and got caught in a rainstorm which was as lovely as everything else on this trip. I hiked up some ever-growing number of stairs who you asked on a given day would change this number, but I think the actual number was around 1300. Anyway, these stairs took us up to Ravello. It was yet another gorgeous, breathtaking thing, except this time it was A, really breathtaking because of all the stairs, and B, you really felt like you earned that amazing view that you saw when you got to the top. As magnificent as everything on this trip was, I think it was mostly marvelous for the people that I was traveling with. In addition to all of the, how are we here, how is this happening, there was a similar sense of overwhelm with our good fortune to have such amazing people in our lives to experience all of this with. I think this already ranks near the top or at the top for the most gorgeous and scenic place I've ever been. But this trip itself is also near the top because it was sort of the perfect storm of location and company. People you can adventure with are the kinds of people that you should definitely keep around. And I'm very grateful to have gotten to spend the week with so many total, total keepers. Close your eyes. <laughs> 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 Got him. Got him. <laughs> Nailed it.